Welcome back, everyone. We're pleased to welcome Interstellar Communication Holdings, Inc., a company pioneering new ways to connect with space. Their flagship initiative, IC Mercury, brings together satellite technology, global community engagement, and real-world applications, from science and education to commercial innovation. Now, this year, they've achieved an exciting milestone. In March of 2025, they successfully launched their first Pocket Cube satellite, Hades ICM. The satellite is now active and available for amateur radio operators around the world to communicate with. It's a major step towards making space more accessible to individuals and emerging industries. And since then, the company has received a number of thoughtful and enthusiastic questions from the audience. We will get into those in just a second, but let me first introduce the team representing the IC Mercury team is Seda Hewitt, Space Ambassador Harry Leighton, Lifeguard, and Lija Zhu, Captain of IC Mercury. Welcome back to the conference, everyone. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Anna. Thank you. All right, why don't you give us a little introduction and overview, and then we'll jump into some questions. Seda? So, um, as, as I said before, every time it's really nice to be here and we are so happy that we actually receive a lot of questions. But let me give you a little bit of intro introduction, what, who we are, what we did so far. We are Interstellar Communication Holdings. We are also well known by the brand name IC Mercury. So we are bringing stars to the common people like you and me. We are enabling entrepreneurs and investors to tap into the potential of the universe. So how we are doing this, we are utilizing PocketCube technology together with an application, IC Mercury application and software. So we are bringing it, everything together, creating the community, and we are giving the stars just the tip of your fingers. Perfect. So I'm sure many people are asking, can anyone buy a satellite? So can anyone buy a satellite? <laughs> well, yes, of course. And when we think about this, you know, there, there are a few things that we need to look at it. Yes. I mean, pocket cubes are accessible, they're legal, and yes, anybody can buy a satellite. But we also have a few things that we would like to figure out. As you know, we have to register with the authorities and we will be there. We will walk through you all those processes and how who we can buy the satellite, what we can do with the satellite. If you are an artist, if you are in an education field, if you're an engineer or just an individual hobbyist, you can actually use PocketCube to utilize your dreams about the stars. Fascinating. And yes. so Besides it being fascinating for someone who loves space, why would someone buy a satellite? Well, I want to jump that's... in a little yeah. bit. As so you can sure. see, uh, we use the cats uh, in the picture, and uh, we think there is a curious cat living in everyone's heart. So we are targeting to the curious hearts um, in our targeted customers like amateur radio network operators. And uh, if you are a cat owner, or you are just simply being curious, you can explore the way to communicate with space through IC Mercury. So this cat represents our trust in our customers. So since we share this curiosity in common, we think there is a very broad market. Perfect. And so what does it look like? How, how do I get it? Do I get to touch it? Do I get to see it? How does it work? So when you buy a satellite, you will receive a module. It was a handbook and the handbook it will show you different stages, what you can, you can engage and learn uh, in the journey to space. And uh, we're going to help you to schedule the launch and uh, customize your build and uh, team up with science uh, projects and uh, help you to go through the licensing process. And we will arrange the launching ceremony. So that's Fun. what people expect to get. It's a lot of new information, a different perspective of life. And uh, I'm I, uh, we had a great experience going through this process and we love to share this, the joy with the rest of the audience. Mm -hmm. 
great. Can you show me an example? Zelda? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. I mean, if you would like to see what a pocket cube looks like, this is our pocket cube, Hades ICM, that we launched in March 15th in 2025, just this year. And this is what a pocket cube looks like. And when you see what it, I'm sure there are some technical people, but we would like to add some information about it's just 1.5p pocket cube. It's like 400 grams and it has all the communication uh, channels. It's a little pocket cube, but it does a lot. And as you see, it's there is there's an uh, FM and FS key repeater in it. It's just whirling around every 90 minutes at that moment. So it's a real thing. We are not talking about a concept. We are actually talking about the real satellite, the satellite that you can also own on your own to run your experiments or learn more about the space. So this is what it looks like. It also carries a low power graphene radiator in it and a software payload. So this is just an example that what did before. So we can actually take it as an example and we can customize your uh, pocket cube just as you like. Perfect. Harry is in, in cybersecurity. Harry, would you like to add something to the build? Mm -hmm. uh, cybersecurity is a uh, big part of this game. Uh, this our application, uh, we we have a clear target to make very secure process uh, all in our earth place after this connection is a big part of uh, inside uh, technology already. Perfect. And so let's talk about what happens after you launch it into space. What's next? Actually, it is, uh, when it's launched, this once your satellite is in orbit, it follows a critical path. You can track it, it's a orbit and know exactly when it will be overhead. When it's passed, you can receive signals or even send commands or message. Depends on your, your setup. It is not real time, 24 seven access, but it's scheduled, reliable connect. You can receive telemetry test communication or engage with your payload. And when it comes to preparing, what do I need to do to prepare? Here is uh, what, what a typical setup looks like. A minimum, you'll need a radio receiver, an antenna, and some free software. If you, have a, if you want to transmit signal back to, to the satellite, for example, to test APRRs message or activate or payload, you'll, you'll need an amateur radio license. Some users also partner with ground station networks it's accessible even for first timers or if we provide guidance. Where would someone get an antenna like that? Just wondering. <laughs> so we are going to help the build uh, for the satellite based on the uh, client's preference um, and the existing pipeline of the manufacturer. Because there are a lot of scientists scientific projects lined up and uh, willing to send their satellite and uh, they are actively seeking sponsor to help them to team up together and uh, send a satellite. Perfect. And so once it's it's set up, what, what can I actually do with my satellite? So in the I see Mercury satellite it's very simple it's uh help to uh build a communication channel and then we have a game that amateur radio network operators can participate and play so in the future there will be more and more applications like the existing applications we team up uh, such as lifeship uh, who send art to the moon and to, to outer space and Android. And uh, we, and also Forest of Fire, who can utilize satellites to create artificial nodes 
and prevent fire. And uh, there are a lot, also a lot of applications in mining. So what you can do is to explore a new world you may not be exposed to in the past. A lot of possibilities. You have to open it to know all about it. Fascinating. Are there any risks involved? Well, we can, maybe I can, I can reply that. Well, we are talking about a very uh, small device. So if we were talking about space debris or anything like that, there is no risk about it. But since it's a very small satellite, of course, it has a lifespan. It's, it, we are expecting around uh, three to four years lifespan. And after that, when it finishes its you know, lifespan, it doesn't harm anyone else. It doesn't harm to our galaxy. It's just, you know, this all on its own. It just goes down from the atmosphere. So when you look from that aspect, if there is no uh, technical or no direct risk, when we were talking about the big satellites, as you know, there are a lot of direct risks. And you're just sending uh, small packages of information. You're receiving small packages of information. So it's a very small device. When we think about on that aspect, it's really safe to do any researches or receive and send your messages to the uh, space. And we haven't had any complications so far with our own satellites. So I can I can say that that was perfectly fine. I want to add is, one so. point. You know, the more people who understand the space, who know about the satellites, the safer we are. So we actually want more people to understand it. Absolutely. Well, thank you for this. It's really nice to have these questions answered. We do have more questions for you from our viewers, but we'll send them to you so you can answer them directly. But it's always a pleasure and always mind-blowing when I do talk to you guys about what you're providing for us here on Earth. So thank you so much. For anyone interested, that's IC Mercury and Interstellar Communication Holdings. Thank you all, and I hope to see you all very soon. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you, Wanda. Bye. All right, everyone. We'll be right back.